Hello everybody, welcome to another class of Science Wednesday. If you remember from last class, we saw a little bit of what the contagious rate is. What do we already know? The contagious rate tells us how many people can a sick person infect. If this number is one or smaller, the disease will spread very slowly. If the number is bigger, the disease can spread very fast. Now, today, Elska, what are we going to learn? So today we will see the situation where the contagious rate is higher than one. So if one person is sick, this person will give it to more than one other person. And what happens, what we call it if this happens, is an epidemic. If the contagious rate of a disease is larger than one, this is one person infects several people, we can face an epidemic. If an epidemic spreads to different countries in different continents, then this epidemic becomes a pandemic. All right, so we have seen many, many epidemics in the time of the human race. So let's go back in time to see a few examples of some very big ones. The Black Death. The Black Death was a pandemic that happened around 1350, killing more than 100 million people in Asia, Africa and Europe. The symptoms of the disease were high fever, dark marks in the skin, bumps of the size of an egg full of black and bad smelling liquid, and eventually death. Doctors didn't know how the disease was spread. They thought it was through air, or maybe by touching clothes of sick people, or that the affected were those who got decided. Since they didn't know what the disease was, they were unable to stop it. In the 19th century, they realized the reason behind the disease, a bacteria. It is transmitted to humans by the bites of fleas that beat an infected animal before. In the 14th century, boats were full of rats and fleas. So when the rats got the disease, it easily spread around the world through port cities. The low hygiene of people, lack of sewage and living conditions in cities were perfect for rats and fleas to flourish and since no one knew they were causing the disease, the spread was unstoppable. Wow, so then things like the hygiene played a really important role in this, and so did people living very close together or really close to animals that had fleas on them. Definitely, yeah. And also a funny thing, uh, an epidemic like this one, something, it's something really big, it has a huge impact. And in the case of the Black Death, they also think it ins inspired social change. So it uh, created better circumstances for the workers, because there were so little healthy people left to work that their wages went up. Oh. And also they think it inspired the technological discoveries, because they had to find another way to uh, use labor, because there, was, huh. there were no more people to work. So maybe the pandemic we are facing now also imposes some social changes. Who knows? Who knows? All right, so maybe we can now uh, see another example of an other big epidemic. So let's travel back in time again. Let's. So, Captain, where are we going? We don't know. How we don't know? What are we doing here then? We're following Columbus. And where is Columbus going? We don't know. Ah, that, that makes sense. Let's follow our friends going to America with Columbus for the first time. There, you see there? You see? I don't see because see? I don't have a telescope, but faster, I will faster, go faster, no problem. Faster. Yeah, let's see what Hello, doing. yeah? <laughs> Hi, guys. <coughs> oh, I think I actually got sick <coughs> in <coughs> the boat. Probably something I actually got yeah, before we started. The city. When Columbus and the explorers arrived to America, they brought with them diseases from Europe. Europeans were used to these diseases and could survive them but Americans were not. The explorers started war with the natives of the continent and they won, thanks to a weapon that they didn't even know they had. Diseases like smallpox and chickenpox killed around 90% of the natives. Did they get sick? I don't know. They look dead. Maybe they were sick before. Maybe they were sick before? Well, I think it's maybe time for us to, to go, go back go. to Europe. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, so actually a lot of Native Americans died in huge numbers just because of diseases that we brought from Europe. But then, why didn't European people die in huge numbers because of 
diseases from America. When Europeans came back to Europe, they might have brought diseases from America, but the immune systems of Europeans was used to live in very unhygienic conditions, surrounded by animals, and exposed to a lot of different infective agents. So it was better prepared to fight intruders than the immune systems of Americans. Oh, finally! Oh, oh sweet home! Dirty, ugly, beautiful oh, Europe in the medieval so era. Unhygienic. That's exactly how I like it. What did we learn today? An epidemic happens when one sick person can pass the disease to more than one other person. If an epidemic spreads to more than one continent, then we have a pandemic. We also learn a little bit of history. Humans have faced many pandemics before, some of them caused by bacteria like Black Death, some other caused by virus like HIV or the smallpox. All right. So that was it for today again. We hope you enjoy it. And, and see you next time. Bye-bye.